Okay, YouTube friends, this is a 2011-2012. Um, I'm not sure what year to what year, but this is the uh, GMC Acadia, and will be probably the same as the Cadillac and the uh, Chevy uh, Trailblazer or whatever. I don't know. So correcting me, okay? What happened here is been leaking a lot not right now what you see here in the floor because i drained the uh, power steering pump right here i looked in that boat right there was the drain line for the uh, uh power steering pump what happened here is uh it kind of um leaking also have a stiff turning when you turn it kind of stiff so I will say that the power steering pump is bad that's why it, it leaking and also have that stiff turning sometimes hard and sometimes stiff and most of the time it, it like that so I check any other pressure line there's no leaking and only leak here number one it could be that seal right there or or um, the pump I will say the pumps more than anything so that's why I'm going to replace the pump okay okay on top of that is number 16 and uh, kind of tight in space but you can pull your wrench right here you can see that you can turn a little bit very little okay and uh, you can do it but very tight as soon as you break loose you probably can use your hand okay if you're coming from the exhaust side over here you should be able to get that easier than uh, on the passengers side and from here it's just reaching over this hose here put your hand See that? I got that loose already. And then take this bolt right here out. And then there's one in the bottom. You can go through here. So my camera really helped me at all from here. So this is number 15, okay? So just let you know number 15. So okay. So finally it came off. So there's one more on the bottom. Right here. Okay, right there. You can see right there. You can use a flex extension to go through right here and you should be able to pop that thing out easy. A flex uh, swivel go all the way through outside here and pop so that's easy for me. Okay. You now the bolts came off but to see which way it can get out easier than maybe through, towards the other side from here remove the heat shield that we're blocking the way right here and when you remove that you just yank the power steering hose a little bit and then you should be able to get out from here if <sighs> okay let me put my cameras away so I can do two hand okay this uh, line right here is on the way a little bit but we just pull a little bit and then to create a little bit gap so you should be able to pull the uh, power steering pump from right here now when you go get your power steering pump make sure you're renting their OEM pooler and installer kit which is part number right here 27031 okay that is the one you need it for install the one pool when you use this one right here install this one's in and put this ring to cover that and that's a 17 socket I can use hand but too slow okay 
come off so the leaking part is the seal right here is bad so that's why leaking and put this one back up the same thing with this right here I don't have socket that long enough so this is manually by hand so yeah starting to go in already Okay, now install it complete. So ready to put it back in the car. So I'm not going to show you how to put it back in there. I think you pretty much know how you take him out and how you put it back already. Okay, before you can go start, you need to top off the uh, fluid first. So when you top off that, stop the engine and do it turn by turn. Okay, all the way and all the way. And one more, couple times. Okay. Make sure the uh, vehicle be uh, power steering is bleeding the air out from the rocket pin to the reservoir. Okay. So now it's quiet now. You can't hear. You cannot hear the uh, power steering grind no more. Okay. All right. I think that's enough. I'm going to load the vehicle to the ground and to see any leaking first before I load the vehicle. After you uh, bleed it, make sure you add more fluid because they are pretty low right now. And add it to the level it should be. Alright, thank you for watching. And now the oil is burning from the uh, drip to the exhaust pipe all that stuff. So after a while, it should be clear out on those smoke right there, okay? Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Bye-bye now.